Happy Sunday, Kim folk. I have a few words of inspiration if you'll oblige me this soliloquy for our salvation. You are looking at someone who by all statistics may not survive this virus, or better said, this plague we're all experiencing. I'm a minority, already at high risk, and in arguably one of the worst systems on the planet that still refuses to remove the yoke of oppression from its citizens. It's a scary time for all of us. Death is a trending topic and present in all of our lives. The disparities though should come as no surprise. Those who have the least will be affected the most and then they will be forced to do the most to keep the lie of the system running. And then they'll induce more fear. And as history shows us, with fear comes some of the most diabolical and heinous acts one can even imagine. But let me tell you something. I ain't about to sit here and be paralyzed by fear. I will not be shocked into silence. No, 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 no. I will rise from the death they've tried to shroud my soul in. I will break the shackles of their promises and hopes they've never made good on. No, no, I will rise. But baby girl, <laughs> I can't do it alone. I need you too. I need you to fight with me these monstrosities that grow strong in this long night. Know that you can never be destroyed and that our connection is the ultimate light in the night of their deception. But know too that they gonna come for you. Maybe not today or tomorrow or in three months, but they gonna keep coming for you until you at your weakest hour and they gonna feed on your fear and your anger and for your safety they're going to take every right you have, including your willpower. And your only defense against their onslaught will be love. Now, when I say love, I'm not talking about rainbows and candy and romance. No, no, no. This is, this is that old love. This is that ineffable force that connects all of us that is not bound by time and bends space when it's present with its purpose. Love is real. It calls out the bullshit. It will even attack our own willful ignorances that bury themselves deep within our thoughts, our belief systems, our institutions, and our actions. But see, love Love goes beyond the self, beyond your comfort zone. It bleeds with empathy and sees the other as the self. Love is our alarm that can finally wake us from this death we've been experiencing for generation on end. So wake up, my loves. <laughs> Don't you know when you open your eyes, you bring with you the light of day? And even when those eyes are flooded with tears because of loss and pain, you can make a joyful noise because now you have your why. It must all be changed. When you can't find no more food, no more work, when your family is dying off, now you have why. It must all change. Across all these imaginary lines they've drawn on maps, over all these walls they've built to divide us, beyond all these labels they've slapped upon us to separate us, I tell you, I charge you, tear them down, rip them asunder, vanquish them from your minds, and tell and rise up against that ignorant motherfucker and blind them with the light of a freedom we have never known for fowl, for fish, for flower, and for folk like us. Like the sun on a cold night, 
We are risen, rising, real, and once high up in that sky, everything gonna shine in light. So, my, my loves, be well and fear not. Resurrect the real dream for now is the time to believe. And if this is my last day, just know that it's filled with love and light for each and every one of you in every single way. Zah.